tonight's show. You can connect with Take Two Radio on Twitter at Take Two Radio and at Dawn Take Two Radio. You can also look us up on Facebook at Take Two Radio. Check out our website at TakeTwoRadio.com and follow us on Blog Talk so you can stay up to the minute of each episode as we add it. Each episode is always available for download immediately following each broadcast. And you can also download every podcast on iTunes. Thank you for joining us. Hello and welcome to Take Two Radio. I am the co-host. My name is Dawn and uh, very glad to be here with you today. And uh, again, uh, the lovely, talented Pam is allowing me to come and take over the reins because she is still um, ailing and uh, but she is with us. Hello, Pam. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> You're hanging in as best you can. Yeah, um, for those of you who, who may be joining us today, like uh, for the first time this week, Pam has been really sick fighting that horrible cold flu bug that has been, I think, has gone rampant throughout the country. And um, so uh, she's been quite the trooper to still hang in and be with us. But uh, I appreciate you letting me, you know, take the reins and help you out here. So, um, but the main thing is to get you feeling better. So I hope that happens for you pretty quickly. Thanks. I have full trust and belief in you as my co-host. Well, I, I do appreciate that. Um, and today we are very excited because we have um, our guest with us today is, um, gosh, just an awesome band that we had the privilege of coming across recently and being introduced to Pam and I. Uh, the band is La Reverie, and we have with us today uh, the female lead for the band. Now, they are a goth rock band, and if you love Evanescence, um, and bands like that, you're going to love La Reverie. And so without further ado, I'd like to welcome Allie. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. It's good to be with you guys. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, we really appreciate you taking time away to, to uh, call in today. I mean, today is Super Bowl Sunday, so um, for anyone to be free on Super Bowl Sunday is uh, is a good thing. So really doubly appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we want to start things off by talking a little bit about the band um, La Reverie and find out how did you guys um, come to be as a band? When did you get started and, and how did it all come together for you? Well, it started, um, I was in a club actually watching the keyboard player in another band. He was doing cover songs and he did a couple of his original songs and they were so unusual, almost haunting. And I'm, I was thinking my uh, lyrics and vocals would fit his writing style so perfectly. So we talked on his break uh, about starting a gothic rock band, and he really liked the idea. And we both knew the same drummer and guitar player, so La Reverie was born. Awesome. And so now, how long have you guys been together? We actually came together in 2010. Uh, when the mysterious O, that's our keyboard player, uh, and I met, and we um, we wrote a song immediately. Um, the song was actually called "Hold Me Down." Uh, when we told people we wanted to start a gothic rock band, they said, "Maybe you don't want to do gothic rock. Maybe you want to do dance or pop or something more mainstream." But we knew that our writing style was a little different and a little more haunting, and we wanted to stick with the goth thing, so we decided um, that we were going to go ahead and write the song Hold Me Down, basically to those people that didn't really support us and didn't believe us, and that nobody was going to really hold us down, and we were going to follow our dream, and and the band kind of took the philosophy that everybody should follow their dream no matter what, and the reverie actually means the dream in French, so it kind of all came together. Mm-hmm, definitely. Now, was uh, was goth, gothic rock uh, a music style that you or you know your partner there were interested in um, naturally, or was it just kind of uh, through writing the, that song you just determined that that was the style that you wanted to go with? We kind of um, were into the um, the gothic progressive um, kind of more avant garde avant garde side of rock and roll. So we mm-hmm. all came influences kind of going in each member of the band obviously had their own um, people that they followed like the mysterious old followed you know keyboard oriented bands from Europe and I obviously followed um, female vocalist bands 
a lot of the things going on in Europe, like within Temptation, and a lot of symphonic metal bands had female fronts, and the drummer followed bands that had great drummers. But we all brought our influences to the table, and it kind of created our sound. That's awesome. Now, I do want to congratulate you guys because you were named one of the top 20 best rock artists for 2012 by Rockwired Magazine, and that is no small feat. And to have just gotten together in 2010, I mean, that's pretty that's pretty prestigious. So congratulations to you guys. Most oh, definitely. Thank you. It, everything just seemed to be happening so fast. It, it was um, it was a re- release of our first full-length CD. Um, we just released our, our CD called Dark Symphony, and um, Rockwire uh, was was pretty. They seemed like they really liked it. They they gave us a, a great quote on that, and um, they were extremely impressed that we produced it ourselves. It was produced by our guitar player and. Um, the EP that we had put out originally was produced by a very famous producer, Ron Nevison, who had worked with Led Zeppelin and a lot of very famous people. And we, on the full length, decided to um, let Jeff, the guitar player, take the reins, and we think he did an awesome job. Well, and I've heard I've heard a lot of the music off of the album, and it's very, very good, by the way. I'm a huge Evanescence fan, and, of course, mm-hmm. I couldn't help but, but uh, feel like I was listening. You know, gosh, I was like, wow, their sound is so awesome. And, and uh, you know, and, and for anyone to tell you out of the gate that, you know, this wasn't really a good time to bring, you know, to bring yet another golf band into the mix, I think was sadly mistaken because, you know, as you know, in mainstream music today, it, it's really prepackaged, and and pop music, of, uh, you know, for example, you know, you hear a lot of the same type of, um, you know, music. It has the same style, and um, and other music is similar. And so, you know, rock is so diverse, and I don't think that you can have enough goth rock fans, in my opinion, because they're few and far between. Um, you know, and so really, Evanescence is probably you know, t- t- as far as my knowledge of that genre, is probably one of the biggest. And it's nice to have another band out there that's doing more of the same. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we we really appreciate that. We have found that there is a huge audience out there that we didn't realize. Um, the thing about our music is it it's powerful, but it's really emotional, and it reaches everybody kind of on an emotional level and it's really about everyday things that we all go through. It's just mm-hmm. presented in a very powerful way. So a lot of people really kind of relate to what we're trying to say and what we're trying to do. And it's kind of like we're reaching out to everybody and they're kind of reaching back, and it's it's kind of a really cool thing. Yeah. So now let's talk about some of the things that you've been doing as a band since you formed in 2010. What are some of the places that you've played and and uh, I know that you're getting a lot of airplay. Uh, your music um, is getting really some good recognition. Obviously, you know, um, Rockwired Magazine has certainly um, noticed you. So um, talk about some of the other great things that have been happening for you. Well, when we first started, um, the song Hold Me Down that we wrote as our first song um, was sent in a demo form to the Los Angeles Music Award, and they picked up on it immediately. They wanted to nominate us for a breakout single of the year um, just as a demo, and we're so excited about that. And then we went into the studio with Ron Nevison um, and recorded the actual final version of that on a three-song EP, and we turns out we won the award for breakout single of the year, and that was just for us to come out and just have that happen. It was just so such an amazing feeling. And then we... Um, the song Hold Me Down was then taken, and it was getting a lot of airplay in the States, but a lot of European airplay, which we were kind of surprised at. We didn't realize how big symphonic metal and goth metal and progressive metal was overseas, but we found that out immediately. We got a lot of um, just wonderful people. We got a lot of um, friends and fans from Sweden and the U.K. and Germany and um a whole market that we didn't even know about and it was it was really wonderful and and then we um played the key club we did our our ep show with um the rock icons missing persons and we sold out the show and it was an awesome awesome night 
and we did a, another um, show down in Orange County, um, same thing. We did another uh, EP release down there, and um, again, it was a sold out night. And so, we had a lot of lot of luck um, playing in Southern California. And then Music Connection magazine um, put out a list of their top favorite uh, live bands for 2011, and we were in the top 15 of that. So that was pretty exciting as well. Just a lot of things happened in a short amount of time, and it was just it was really awesome. And then, of course, the release of the new CD that just came out, Dark Symphony, and um, we're planning some really, really great uh, shows with that. We just found out that we will have a date for our huge Dark Symphony CD release party. Um, that's going to be March 24th, which is a Sunday evening at the Key Club. And the cool thing about this show is we're going to record a full-length uh, live uh, DVD at that oh. show. Wow. The light and the sound, and then we're going to release it later this year. So, a lot of really cool things coming up. That's great. I was wondering, how did you yourself get your start in music? I was um, brought up in a musical family. My mother was a singer, and my father actually wrote um, TV uh, music for television jingles and commercials. And my oh, mother, oh, cool. Well, she used to sing on some of those, and there was. When I was very little, there was, um, I think, a, I believe it was a candy commercial where they needed a little kid singing in the background, and that was my first my first singing experience is they had me singing on the tape in the background in this little candy commercial. <laughs> 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 and from there, um, we always had a piano in the house, and I was always tinkering around, putting little melodies together and writing little songs, and I, I sang in school, and... Um, just really always writing poetry and music and just always singing. I did a lot of um, shows in school with, like, the choir and um, also became interested in the blues, and I did a lot of that um, right out of school. And and then just um, a lot of private functions and a lot of a little bit of session singing in Los Angeles and and then was fortunate enough to hook up with the Mysterious O and this and this great band and everything that's going on right now. It's just it's been amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean your head must be spinning. Um, you know, I was um, I, and I apologize because I was remiss in mentioning that in 2011, you know, you were recognized as a band, um, you know, by Music Connection magazine for being one of the top 15 live unsigned artists, you know, for that year and. I mean, it's just like things are just kind of um, kind of snowballing and just picking up speed so quickly for you. Um, so, you know, I would just not know which end was up if it were me. Um, but that is just um, it's just all so exciting how you guys have kind of where you began and where you are now in just a short period of time. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you about is. I had I had watched your video um, for Hold Me Down, and uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, you know, the making of the video. What was that like for you? Because obviously it's, it's a great deal different than performing. I mean, you're performing in the video, but, you know, there's a lot more to it than just getting on a stage or getting in a studio. So how was that for you guys? Well, um, the first and most foremost thing I want to do is give a huge shout-out to our director, Christopher Weil. Christopher, I hope you're listening because, we wouldn't have been able to do that without you. Um, the video was kind of the brainchild of him. He took the song and he created a whole premise for the song. Um, we had originally, like I said, written a song about, you know, the people out there that thought it wasn't a good direction. But he came to me and he said, what if we used a different vision for the video? He goes, what about if you're fighting your own inner demon? 